Hi y'all, uh, hey Bill here. And bitch, I just need to freaking vent. <sighs> Collect myself. Okay, now that that's done and over with. Again, another car vlog in the parking lot since I don't ever drive anywhere. Um, I need to vent. Today was a freaking disaster at work today. So you see, I'm good at my job, so... I'm just kidding, that sounded really freaking conceited. Ah! Okay, so I train people at work, and so we have this new girl, bless her heart. She doesn't know how to use a register, and granted, I didn't know how to use the register, and I'm sure I'm still kind of slow. I like to think that I'm fast, but I'm sure I'm not that fast. Um, but I am faster than when I started, so I'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt, you know, and hope that she'll pick it up. So next week, I'm really going to grind her on that register, man. Really make her do the till. So because of my anxiety, and I feel like I have a little bit of OCD when it comes to things, especially at work. When it comes to work things, I am very particular. Like, I cook the food for the deli um, every day. So I put it in the exact same order, the exact same way, every day. So when people come in, they know exactly what is what they don't have to hunt for what they want they can just be like boom there it is in the spot like it's supposed to be anyways trying to make everybody's life a little bit easier okay okay anyways um where was i going with that things i like in particular okay so for the till we have a beautiful lady who when i first started like to rush me like, rush, rush me. Like, I want to rush the new girl, but I'm nice, and I don't rush her, and I just scream on the inside, okay? So, it, like, caused me to have, like, till, I call it my till anxiety, because I am constantly, like, bundling my bills when there's downtime, so I don't have to do it when I need to count it. I'm constantly, like, trying to keep a record of what is what, so when I do count it, I can count it, like, speed you know what I mean so this new girl and I were supposed to be off work at 12 p.m. it's one o'clock almost and I'm just not pulling into the parking lot to get home so I basically worked an extra hour half hour 45 minutes whatever a lot more time than I needed okay at 11 20 so that gives this girl 40 minutes to count our till okay and the thing is, I like to count the till by 11.45, and then just when someone pays for something, I'll be like, oh, that's a $20 bill, scratch the amount that I had, and then add the 20 to it. So then later, I just have to calculate everything instead of count it um, to close my till in like two minutes instead of like 20 minutes, okay? So at 11.20, I was like, hey, start bundling your cash for your till. And she said, okay, didn't get anywhere. She kept getting sidetracked. So I was like, okay. So then our boss called her into the office to like talk with her. So she was in there. It took me literally two freaking minutes to bundle the cash. So I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to do it because I know when it comes to counting this, it's going to take a while because they wanted me to let her do it, which is fine because she's got to learn. That's just the reminder for today. It's fine. She's learning, right? It's fine. She's learning. So it's time to count the till. She's taking forever. Okay. And then boom, lunch rush. Okay, y'all, and Lunch Rush is a freaking bitch at our store. I mean, it's only for, like, 30 minutes, and, but it gets overwhelming. The guys are cranky, and they're hungry because we get a lot of, like, construction workers, um, and they just want their freaking gas station food and to go enjoy their lunch. So she's just taking her sweet freaking time. And, okay, on the register, when someone pays in cash, you need to hit the cash amount and then hit cash. Okay, so this is day two that this girl is working here, which, I mean, I probably sound like a total cunt bag, um, harping. 
on her, but it's not to her face, okay? It's to you guys, because I'm venting, okay? And, like I said, bless her heart, she's a sweet girl. I am just... Ugh. Okay. She decides to take her sweet time, and instead of counting it, she wants to help the lunch rush. Which is fine, because I told her, hey, if there's a few people in line, don't worry about counting it, help the people. So in that case, to her, that meant do the entire lunch rush, blah, blah, blah. So usually, by the time lunch rush comes, I will have my till counted and ready. So when my mother comes in, we can do our shift trade real quick. And then my mom's on the register, and then I'm getting food, and I'm bagging that food. And we are sending those gentlemen on their way to enjoy their gas station lunch. And then I was like, let me count the change for you, because I knew that her letting her count the change, and the cash was going to take way too long. Plus, so, freight at my work, and if y'all know what freight is, then y'all understand what I'm talking about. Ugh! Freight is supposed to come around 8 o'clock, alright? Which is when my boss scheduled for the new girl to be there, so we can be like, hey, new girl, do the freight. So she can learn our store, which really it's not hard to learn a store because we are a convenience store. And so there's four aisles. So, I mean, like, it's not hard to learn it. Um, I know the store like the back of my hand for the most part. Anyways, so Freight decided to come at 6 a.m. this morning, which is when I opened the store. So I get there at 545. OK, and that gives me 15 minutes to get my till ready, start the coffee, light the deep fryer, get the lotto machine set up, get the newspaper ready, just all that fun shit. They got hit there at the worst time in the morning for me because I'm like, okay, I need to cook food and now I got freight to put away, which like... <sighs> The dry goods are fine, but the cold stuff, you know, and the frozen stuff's, like, gotta be put away, okay? And, to top that off, yesterday, or last night, our, one of our freezers that we stock a lot of our deli food in before we cook it, freaking broke! So, it decided to stay on auto defrost, and defrost, freaking everything. We have food all over it and the extra, the other freezers, because we have a lot of freezers we keep food in, stuffed in there, no room. So I was cooking and I was picking up the disaster that was left from last night with the food that we needed to save from defrosting. Um, so I was bagging that up because they didn't do that last night. And then freight comes, so I also had to unload freight. The boss didn't come until 7.30, and she was like, well, let the new girl work the register. And I was like, um, I'm going to have her do freight, and I'll do the register while we cook and stuff. The other owner, the husband, came in and was like, you need to be on register for half your shift so you can learn the register. And she was like, okay. And I was like, I learned what shift we're going to be putting her on. All that fun stuff. So there's still things that I need to teach her, like how to clean a deep fryer. Um, so we're going to work on that next week. So not only does she still need to practice the register and the till, she needs to learn how to do the deep fryer, which <sighs> I feel like I'm going to have to teach it to her a few times, which is fine. I don't mind. Again, as I said, I know I sound like a bitch, but I'm just venting here because today has just been, so I'm letting it out. This is how I'm doing it. Now I'm home. Let me sip my tea. <laughs> so, oh, just to, what is it, preface? Is that the word? I absolutely love my job. I love my bosses, and I love the people that I work with, and I love our customers. It's just, it's been a day, okay? And because I'm good at my job. <laughs> God, I'm so rude. I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm being rude. Because the owners appreciate me, and they have mentioned several times that they want me to become a manager. So I'm pretty sure that they like to test me and see what I can handle, you know, like as if I was a manager. 
they leave me to do a lot of things because eventually they want to make it to where the owners don't have to be at the store every day and moi will be at the store doing what they do which i will love and cherish once i get there but sometimes it's just a little much so you know it's just it's been a day that's all for this event session